I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife for saying completely different ball game. I'll walk away from here and this has been like a therapy session. This is Joe Pugh for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Delighted to be joined by Pierce Holu here at the O2. How are you, mate? I'm all good, Joe. How are you? All good. Very well, thank you. Uh, here at the launch press conference for Zach Parker versus John Ryder, of which you're going to be on the undercar for. First of all, big platform, big fight. How's it, how's it feel? Yeah, it's massive. It's huge. The leading, um, it's crazy how, how, how big the stadium is looking like that when I walked in and looked at it. But um, do you know what? I feel like I was here before already. I visualised it. So, yeah, it's only a matter of time until I'm in there now picking the title up. 100%. And uh, when did you first hear about th- this fight and potentially fighting on such a big stage like this? Um, probably about two weeks. We, we had it. We had, had some sort of date. Um, we had a couple of dates. Some of them um, fell through, which is a bit of a pity because I've been over here training the camp for so long now, which is like since August. I'm more of a Londoner now than I am Irish, <laughs> but um, everything else going well. Yeah, it's I'm, uh, I'm peaking really well, so it's all about just de having a few de load weeks before the fight and then um, performing on the night. You say yeah, you're more of a Londoner now. Every time you've come over to London on these cards, you took your chances and performed really well and uh, kind of showed your name, Pierce O'Leary. How important is it to do that again, even on a big? 26th of November. Yeah, it's massive, yeah, it's huge. Like, even when you're walking down the high street and stuff like that, and people are calling you and talking to you, like, I'm leading in another world here, like, what's what's going on? So, yeah, it's, it's starting to feel normal now, but, um, uh, like, bringing all the fans over, it's it's tremendous. Like, I, I bring probably two, two or three fans over, like, and that's probably each fan, each, say, two people, a couple, probably looking at about 1,200 quid, do you know what I mean? So, it's, it's an awful lot. And to be selling those kind of tickets before Christmas is not a, is not a thing. So we aim for to bring a fight back home to Ireland. One hundred percent. And uh, talk to me about those Irish fans because we know every Irish fighter brings a, a crowd, and they're not quiet, are they? So certainly at the O2, they will light up on the twenty sixth, aren't they? Yeah, they be loud, all right. They be loud. Um, that's what we're here for. Do you know what I mean? We're not here to take part. We're here to take over. That's what McGregor says. So. And that's that's exactly what we plan on doing. Um, yeah, we plan on doing that. Yeah. Talk to me about the main event, then Zach Parker versus John Ryder. It's a fantastic fight between two Brits, but it's at world level. We know that the winner could be in line for fighting Canelo or get, getting that WBO world title. How do you see that fight going? Do you know what's amazing fight? Um, on paper, you might have look, you might have Ryder. Let me look at Zach Parker behind the scene then. Like he, he's fresh, he's young, he wants it all. Um, and that that fight with Canelo can change his life. You look at Roy, he's at the back end of his career. Is a, it's a tough fight. You've got the, do you know what I mean? The pros and cons both way the same. So um, I think whoever pulls it out in the night. One hundred percent. You uh, just mentioned Conor McGregor, another Irish heroes fighting this weekend in Katie Taylor. Uh, just a word on her. Will you be watching that on Saturday night? Yeah, I'll be, I'll be chilling to that 100%. Um, she's amazing. She's an incredible woman. I've done a, I actually done an, an advertisement with her before as a kid and uh, just seeing her training and stuff like that. She's she's an amazing woman. She's unbelievable. What she's done for the sport, women's boxing alone, it's incredible. Definitely. And your last fight, I think you was just above the 140 limit. Was that right? Uh, this one coming in at 140? 140, this is. I came in last fight, uh, one, uh, 140 and a half, 141, I think it was. Making way pretty much easy. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's easy. Obviously, you're still young, but is that the weight you want to campaign at moving through the titles? No, I I'll, I'll, I'll will hold out for a little bit on this week. Um, I'll win a few titles, world titles, and then we'll. Um, Maybe even unify and then move up, but um, the plan is to go through all the divisions until the highest it can be. Like. Obviously, Josh Taylor was undisputed champion, and now their belts are fragmented. Hopefully, we're going to get the Josh Taylor versus Jack Catterall rematch in the early parts of next year. Do you see that going the same way? In kind of a controversial decision with Jack Catterall, a lot of people thinking nick it, or do you think Josh Taylor can turn it around? We know he's moved to Joe McNeely. That's what I'm saying. As you said, he's at the move in Joe McGill, so I, I don't know. It's so hard, and. Um, 
you look at the wake up with, with, with Josh Taylor, I don't think it was a, a great wake up. So he may, he may have a, a proper nutritionist on board now and they deal with all that kind of stuff. So once all that's done, brings a better performance. So you just don't know. Like Taylor, uh, Catra might be a lot more comfortable now with knowing what he's capable of doing and believing in himself. He might bring a totally different dipping um, catcher, do you know what I mean? So you just have to, as again, the pros and the cons there, isn't it? 100%. And finally, for anyone who hasn't seen you in the ring before, it could be the first time on the 26th of November. What they, what should they expect from Pierce O'Leary? Expect the KO before, before the fourth round, I reckon, yeah? We're not in there for long. We're in there to crack jaws and check checks. Pat, that's a great line. Thank you very much for speaking to IFL TV. Hopefully speak to you again before the fight or if not sometime, sometime soon. Cheers, Piss. Sound job. Thank you. Cheers, mate. That was- I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife for something completely different ballgame. I'll walk away from here and this has been like a therapy session.